Glorified flesh. That's what we we mean. Okay. Uh, 1 Timothy 2.5 says there's one mediator between man and God, the man Christ Jesus. He, he's called a man. Okay. So, and also Colossians 2.9 says, for in him dwells all the fullness of deity in bodily form. Do you want to readjust your answer that he's no longer in flesh? Because the Bible calls him man in bodily form. No, no, I'll answer that. No, no, uh, Matt, because uh, again, the, the priesthood was supposed to act as a mediator between men and God. So as we know, Jesus Christ is a high priest and he is also God. Well, as a priest, as man, he is uh, fulfilling that function. Did you know that uh, according to the Old Testament law, Jesus was was baptized to fulfill all righteousness, Matthew 3.15. You go to Leviticus 8, Numbers 4, and Exodus 29 to find out the chapters where he entered into the priesthood at the order of Melchizedek, Hebrews 6.20, Hebrews 7.25. Are you familiar with the idea that if he's not a man, he can't be a high priest? If he's not a high priest, we don't have an intercessor. So if you're saying he's not a man right now, then doesn't that logically mean we don't have a high priest? That's the Bible requires. It has to be a man in order to be a high priest. That's why I made a precision, Matt. I said that he's glorified man, not a man. So he's a man right now. You know, a glorified a man. man. I will repeat. I will okay, repeat so the question again. Uh, the, the answer again. Glorified man. Okay, so he's a man. Then. So he's and, and that's and it glorified yes. absolutely. At first, Corinthians fifteen thirty-five through forty-five. Yes. He's glorified, but he has uh, two natures still, right? He's divine and human, correct? Crazy. That, that nature is glorified. It's no longer the nature he had while he was here during the days of his flesh. And you find that as well in Hebrews. He became a servant. He humbled himself during that time. It was a, a specific dispensation. Uh, um, a function is not uh, th does not define the nature. So... Uh, do you agree or do you affirm or do you deny that right right now jesus the glorified jesus is both god and man has two distinct natures do you affirm it or do you deny it what well i would i would rhetorically say that i affirm that he is both glorified man and god but then again you would not say that jesus is still a servant as he was a servant yes, would. during the days of his yes, flesh so is he still a, is he still a servant question. in heaven Yes, he is. Okay. Yes, he is. He has three offices, My prophet, man. priest, and king, and he's serving as a priest, as a, as a servant to us eternally. So, um, <clears throat> so uh, here's wow. my question again. Is Jesus, as one person, because he's a person on earth, does he right now possess a divine nature and a human nature in his person? Again, he, he has a glorified human nature and a Got divine it, nature. Human nature so he does have two natures right now he's both divine and human glorified human in one body, person right? good good in good, one good. person and so okay so he that's what he is so uh when he was on earth and he I said not my will but your will be done luke 22 42 who was speaking to who when he said not my will but your will be done well, well, that example you just provided is the incarnation. It's very specific. Mm -hmm. So that wouldn't apply to his to current state at the moment. I, yeah, but I, I said when he was on earth, Luke twenty two forty two, and he prayed to the Father. He said, not my will, but your will be done. Who was speaking to who? Not my will, but your will be done. Who was speaking to who? So it was the human nature, God as a man submitted himself to his divine nature as in John, in the first chapter of John it says that we were not born of the will of the flesh nor of the will of men, but of God as sons of God. Are you saying, are you saying the human nature was uh, praying to the divine nature? Does not John say that there is a will of the flesh in the first chapter of question, John? Remember? <clears throat> um, so I'm asking, was the human nature praying to the divine nature? That's what I'm asking. Yes, that's what I've said. All right, so the human nature is praying to the divine nature at the same time. And this implies then two persons, because one 
nature is having consciousness and mind praying to that of another that by definition is personhood so now you're are, are you affirming that there are two persons here that he's praying the flesh is a no, person praying to the father no, because because oh, the, but they're all one no, person because the book of but the book of proverbs says that god is omnipresent he can be in the heavens he can be on earth he can be everywhere at the same time that's how i open my opening statement okay. he is simultaneously okay. in heaven on and on earth okay so when in luke 22 42 i'm gonna go through quickly we've got a minute and a half jesus the person said father so that's the human nature praying to addressing the, the, the divine nature right so that's the human right he says, if you, just as the Father... clarify that? Sorry, I didn't catch that, man. Okay. Sorry, my okay. bad. Okay. All right. No problem. So when Jesus was speaking, he said, Father, that's the human nature speaking, uh, praying to the Father, the divine nature. Right? Brother Daniel? I, I, I'll, 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 let, I'll let Brother Daniel answer. I would say, just like you, we have spirits. We have the Holy Spirit dwelling in us, and we have the flesh. Why do we pray if he's inside of us? Why don't we just command things in the happen? Okay. It's the same thing. So it says, he, he was. Go ahead. We're almost out of time. I want to ask a question because I'm sorry. We're almost out of time. I'm not trying to just cut you off. I don't think. Don't. Yeah. But it says Jesus said in John six thirty eight, "For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will." If uh, who's the I uh, speaking to whom? Because if it's my will, that means it must be the Father's will that was in heaven, right? I came down from heaven not to do my own will that was in heaven. Does that make any sense from your perspective? Go ahead. Last question. Sorry, you got the last word. Can't hear you. That's how I would answer. It was the will of the flesh uh, submitting to the will of the spirit inside of him, which was the spirit of the father. The flesh was submitting to the spirit. That's what we'd say. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you guys for a fantastic cross-examination, guys. Really appreciate the calm and the politeness you guys showed. And that makes for a wonderful debate. So, guys, um, we are going to transition to our...